Queensland Horse of the Year goes to winning ways and what a star filly she is. Gary Newham is her trainer. Gary, this is a pretty special moment. Very special, very proud of her. And no horse deserves it more than her. Tell us about winning ways when she came into your stable and, and you went, what am I going to do with this one? Well, Paul bought her at Magic Millions. Uh, he said, I bought a filly. I've had her out 11 times. I've never had a horse out of the stables 11 times to look at. He said, I don't know how I got her so cheap. And uh, I went and looked at her and she was absolutely beautiful. And that's the last I've seen her for three months when she went away and got broken and come back to me. And just perfect filly to handle. Gary, racing is full of highs and lows and I think it's fair to say that uh, you've seen both of them but this is pretty amazing achievement. Oh definitely, you yeah, know, I've had, had some great highs but a lot of lows as the racing game you know, I know. Uh, I had a low just before the Oaks and then we had the high with the Oaks and uh, it's stayed high since. Winning Ways has hit the lead. Welsh Legend trying to go with Winning Ways. Lane is Dawson Diva down the outside. And also Lady Cavey. Winning Ways, Dawson Diva. Lady Cavey. Winning Ways in front. Winning Ways. Winning Ways has won the Oaks from either Dawson Diva or Lady Cavey. Followed by Angel of Heaven, Princess Jenny, Welsh Legend. Gary, where can she go from here? Uh, I think she can be a top winter carnival horse. We might try the Magic Millions, try the wild card into the Magic Millions, but our main name will be Winter Carnival next year. To take out the grand prize, this award, Queensland Horse of the Year, it's pretty amazing. Yes, I've done a bunch with Starcraft, the Australian three-year-old of the year, but this has topped it up. At home in your own state, it's great.